Hi fashion sewers, it's Colleen G. Lee here and this is fashionsewingblog.com. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew hook and eyes and I'll show what you what they look like. Here's a project I'm working on at the moment. So that is the hook and that's the eye. And you usually find them on top of uh, skirts and dresses. And you just hook it like that. And that's what it looks like on the right side. Okay, I'll now demonstrate how to sew them on. Okay, they are very, very fiddly to handle. As you can see, they're very tiny. So in order to keep them on to the fabric, you can, if you wish, um, try to hold it with your form and keep it in position and then sew it through that way. Or, it can help you to keep it in place. What you could do is put a little tack in to keep it in position. Okay, so I'll show you how I'll do that. So I've got some double thread that isn't knotted at the end. And I've got the hook here. Hook always goes the hook end always goes towards the opening of the garment and I just go in one end pull thread through then I leave a little tail and place it at the other end. This this will actually be pulled out once you've um, sewn it into position. I'm just cut there. So that'll just help help to keep it in place. Okay, so we'll begin sewing that now. Okay. Right, so I've got the eye here. Just hold the tails underneath and then hold it into position with your form. And just take it up a little bit, slipping out there a little bit. We've got it. And there's your first stitch there. Flat tight. And then pick up a little bit of fabric through the hole there and pull it through. So that's two. Probably needs to do another two more here. Pull it through. And just pull it a little bit, one more, so I've gone through there four times. Okay, I think that should be enough. And then just go over to the next one, pick up a, three, a few strands of thread through the hole there and bring it through. Again, a couple more strands through the loop. Three. One more. There we go. Right, I'm just going to finish this off, so I'll just do one more loop, one more little stitch through there. I'm going to pass it through the loop in order to tighten it. So I've got a knot there. Create another oops, loop there, pull it through put my form in position, right, and there we go, that is now, press the thread and just get that tack there, out of position, and there we have it, okay, and I'll just show you on the hook how to get that started, do bear with me while I'm a little bit out of shot, right, I'm putting knot, double thread, knot in the end, There we go. So remember to keep hold of the thread underneath, so that helps to anchor it into position. Put my thumb on top, get a few strands, pull it through, and again, and you just keep doing the same procedure as you did with the eye, just keep going round 
I'm going to just do this quickly so that now you've got a good idea of how it is done. I'll just do two in this one, but do about four in each in each loop or hole. One more. There we go. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a couple of tabs across the bar here just to keep that in place. So when you've completed doing all the stitching through each hole, then just to keep the bar into place, go behind it, stitch behind it, bring it through and make sure the thread goes under and another one more I think should do it just to keep that in place there we go I'm going to just put a knot in that so create a loop bring it through there we go and then cut so there we have it and just take out the the tacking thread behind it so it will come it will. just cut that away In, and you can see there just lift that out if it's proving a little bit difficult to be removed and there we go it's all gone now so can I I'm just neaten off your work a little bit there okay thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful and I'll see you in my next video